After the successful reintroduction of puffins to remote islands in Maine, some of the birds started to behave like flamingos. Why? All right. After the successful reintroduction of puffins to remote islands in Maine, some of the birds started to behave like flamingos. Why? And I just have to say the picture that they sent along with this is so adorable. It just like made my heart like, oh gosh, it, I love it, puffins so much. They're puffins, of course. They, they always look adorable. It's impossible not to. They're one of right? those birds that you don't think is actually real. Really? How could they be? It's like a toucan. Right? I don't yeah. really believe in toucans. They're too cartoony. <laughs> Having seen toucans, they act cartoony too. But they're Aww. like... Oddly vicious. So I was in Costa Rica and they have at one of these like eco lodges, a platform with bananas on it and they throw bananas on it every morning. And you have all different kinds of tropical birds coming to it. And they have aracaris, which are like toucans, but they're a little bit smaller. And the toucans are huge. Like you don't understand. These are like turkey sized animals and i guess you're all in the uk so i don't know if you know the size of an american turkey um but you know it's about this with a a big (laughs) big old bird you know (laughs) it's like this uh but the toucans would like come down from the canopy and i saw one pick up an aracari in its bill and throw it and be like, get out of here. It was wild. I was like, this is not this is not the Fruit Loops mascot of my childhood. <laughs> Every once in a while I feel like you're reminded just how strange and sort of like dinosauric the whole species of bird is. I know there's a place in New Zealand uh, with birds called Kia. And I was not able to film the Kia gymnasium. Because <laughs> the problem was that the Kia were getting bored and just kind of stealing things off cars and just destroying cars. And then they built a gymnasium oh, no. for the Kia. And the Kia then got bored of it after a while, went back to tearing things off cars. So the gymnasium had to be taken down. So I was like, oh, I'll, I'll go and film wow. the Kia gym. No, the Kia have got bored of it. Oh, no. Are these those, like, parrots? I, I think the parrots are... Kaka? I think the kid. The, the, there's a lot of weird birds there. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what were the weird birds we were meant to be focusing on again? Hang oh, on. yeah, toucans. No, puffins. It's puffins. puffins behaving puffins. like flamingos. Puffins. Right. Yes. Right. Okay, what do we know about flamingos? What do flamingos do? Are there flamingos in Maine? Is that a place where flamingos normally hang out? No, not at no. all. But th- where did they come from? Did they come from a zoo or. Oh, were they? That's a good point. Were they introduced or did some puffins just end up there? After the successful reintroduction of puffins Mm -hmm. to remote islands in Maine, some of the birds. They just had a holiday in Florida or something. Or were hunted to extinction, possibly. I hear we do that to some animals. Don't get me started. (laughs) (laughs) So it's a reintroduction project. The puffins come back in. And okay, so the obvious thing about flamingos is that they're standing on one leg. Yes. But. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's a lot of other things about flamingos. And what would cause completely different birds who had not seen flamingos to start doing that, except that half of the ground was really sharp or hot, (laughs) which seems unlikely. So I know some waterfowl like ducks and geese will stand on one leg for like heat regulation, just because the water's very cold and they can just tuck a, a foot into their body and keep that warm. But I feel like puffins are kind of built for that temperature. That doesn't seem like a, a thing that would yeah. cause them to do that just because they've been reintroduced to Maine. Yeah, you, you've got the action of the puffin doing. Like that is a crit- that's, a, that's a critical part of it is the behavior. But the behavior is not motivated by the behavior that is, the, is why flamingos do it. Honestly, I'm, I'm not sure why flamingos do it either. <laughs> No, is that a regulation thing? A temperature regulation? I hadn't thought about it. Yeah, it is. So, so there is a like, there is an environmental impetus for flamingos to do it. It's a little bit, I'll redirect it a little bit more and and try to think of bird reintroduction efforts. Like, what are some of the techniques that researchers would use to try and introduce? Oh, oh, hang on. Are they. Are they wringing the bird's legs? So you have the behavior. It's 
So it, it's the tucking of the leg is important, but it's not, it doesn't have to do with banding and it doesn't really have to do with the environment, but it does have to do with some of the other techniques that researchers would use to reintroduce animals. I thought you were going to say it does have something to do with Maine. It's just the state of Maine. It's just, it's just a legal requirement in that part of the US that birds have to stand on one leg and it's just enforced. There you go. Maine. You got yeah. it. Hit it. Yep. Bullseye, Tom. <laughs> they just really like hopscotch up there. It's one of those ancient laws that survived from like the American equivalent of the medieval times where like you can't carry ice cream in your back pocket, but you have to stand on one leg in the summer or something. <laughs> Yeah, it's fine. You're allowed to, to shoot a Scottish puffin from within the boundaries of York with a crossbow. That's, that's how it works. Yeah, <laughs> It's like, you guys were like the lateral thing, and then the graph of this just went... <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're just so sharing close. with you everything we know about America right now. Yep. <laughs> I, I love it. I love it. And I'm apparently sharing everything I know about waterfowl, which isn't much and not relevant <laughs> to puffins. But it is, though. But it is. The behavior, the behavior is critical. Yeah, what else do researchers do? Oh, when they handle the puffins, do they pick them up by a leg or something? Oh. And it just hurts <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that. It's it's if you if you think about puffins, like they are adorable. They're just pure. Just think of them as being so pure and sweet. And they don't know what they're doing. They've never really been a puffin before. They've never seen other puffins act. They're just trying to figure out who they are. Wait, are they just picking it up from another bird? There's another bird out there that stands on one leg and they're like, all right, that is that is a bird. I am a bird and thus I will stand on one leg. Yes, but you are, you are so close. What bird in Maine will stand on one leg a lot? I thought for a second, I went, oh, I do know one other bird that notably stands on one leg. And then I realized I was thinking of lawn flamingos. <laughs> yeah, you actually got really close with that. No. With lawn flamingos? Yeah. I don't yes. believe you. You're, uh, yeah, yeah, you just got to run with it. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> they have lawn flamingos in their lawns. So they're not lawn flamingos, but, but they are decoys. They're not like hunting decoys, are they? <laughs> they are. The only reason I know this is because years and years and years ago, I met someone who was volunteering with a charity called Ducks Unlimited in the US, mm -hmm. which from my naive view was like, oh, they're, they're protecting wetlands and wildfowl. Yes. So they've got hunting grounds that they can shoot the ducks. And do some of the decoys, they're just like a duck on a stick, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, so that's what the, exactly the researchers were like, how could we like encourage other puffins to resettle here? So they made decoys, but that were puffins, puffin oh. decoys. Oh. But, but the puffin decoys, <laughs> the way they were mounted was by a single stick in the ground. <laughs> and so when the puffins started coming back, they're like, do we stand on one leg too? Oh, poor little sweet birds. <laughs> they were just trying. They were just trying to be like the decoys. <laughs> and there's a whole fashion trend started for puffins. That's a, what, I wonder if they'll ever meet other populations of puffins and start spreading that behaviour. I don't. I don't know. And it's like one of those things. After there are a number of generations, and they have to, you know, they'll eventually phase out the decoys. I imagine. Like, will that just be a trend that continues? And no, and none of the puffins know why. 